Now, time for a look through our international headlines. For that, we turn to our Eunice Kim standing by at the news centre. Eunice, the death toll from the Turkey mining accident has skyrocketed over the past 24 hours, so much so that it's on track to be the deadliest in the country's history. That's right, Mark. Turkey is no stranger to mining accidents, unfortunately, but this one is really bringing the people's anger to the surface as more than 270 are confirmed to have died. That anger is being aimed squarely at the government. Arshin Semin reports. The death toll from the mining accident in Turkey has topped 270 and looks sure to rise even further. As rescue efforts continue, the Turkish government is facing nationwide protests over its failure to improve mine safety. There are reports of clashes near the accident site in Soma, as well as in Istanbul and Ankara. According to the mine operator, nearly 450 workers have been rescued. The government says otherwise, however, putting the number of rescued at some 360. Officials say about 120 workers remain trapped and mined some two kilometers underground. Fresh air is continuously being pumped into the shattered mine to give those trapped the best chance to get out with their lives. All power has been cut to the mine system of service cages as an electrical spark triggered the explosion. What started out as a massive rescue operation has steadily turned into a recovery of the dead, though as no survivors have surfaced since early Wednesday. Many Turks are furious with Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's government for privatizing the nation's mines and ignoring countless safety warnings. The disaster has outraged the public to a point that Turkey's major trade unions have announced a one-day strike in protest. Prime Minister Erdogan said Wednesday that Turkey was experiencing a very great pain over the accident, but stressed that similar explosions occur in mines around the world. This disaster is shaping up to be the worst mining accident in Turkey since 1992, when 263 people were killed in a gas explosion. Shin Semin, Arirang News.